Previously, we've looked at the pH scale, which gave a range of colours depending on whether we put universal indicator into acids, alkalis, or a neutral substance. Remember, the pH scale only works with universal indicator. But when you add universal indicator, you can identify the acids in the range of pH 0 to pH 6, which will show colours from red through to orange through to yellow. And you can identify the alkalis from pH 8 to pH 14, which will show a colour range from dark green through to purple. And in the middle, a neutral substance of pH 7 would show a light green colour. But there are other different indicators that you can use. Litmus paper is another example of an indicator and you can get two different types, blue litmus paper and red litmus paper. Blue litmus paper turns red in acids. So if you put one into an acid it would turn red and you know that that solution is acid. And red litmus paper turns blue in alkalis. So put that into an alkali, it will turn blue and you know that you have an alkali. There are also natural things that can be used to make indicators. For example, some plants can be used to make indicators. You can extract the natural dye out of red cabbage and use that as an indicator. But remember, it won't work alongside the pH scale. And I'm going to show you a practical now, whereby we can extract the dye out of the red cabbage to make an indicator and show you the range of the colours that we will see in acids, alkalis and neutral substances. To make the red cabbage indicator, you need to chop up some red cabbage and put it into a large beaker. To that, you would add some boiling water to the red cabbage and make sure it's all covered. And then you'd use a stirring rod to stir that all together to make sure as much of the natural dye from the cabbage as possible comes out into the water. You would then sieve your mixture so that you get rid of the solid cabbage and you will be left with a lovely blue coloured solution. This is our red cabbage indicator and we can now test out our indicator. So here we've got some acid, some neutral water and an alkali. If we add the indicator to the acid, it goes a pinky red colour. If we add the indicator to the water, to the neutral substance, it will stay blue. And finally, if we add the indicator to the alkali, it goes green. So remember, these don't correlate with the colours on the pH scale. This indicator gives its own range of colours. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.